from ABC7. This is Eyewitness News. I spent almost three decades behind bars for crimes that he did not commit. New at 6, this man was only 18 years old when he was arrested and accused of kidnapping and sexual assault. Today, he is finally free. Also new at 6, we hear from a mother whose 14-year-old son was allegedly sucker punched by a football coach and two female inmates claim a correctional deputy extorted and sexually abused them while they were on home detention. Hello, I'm David Ono. Ellen is off. You're watching Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock and Hulu and wherever you stream. In the meantime, we're going to get to a number of these stories in just a second, but breaking news right now, the five-month-old Hollywood writer's strike ends at midnight tonight. The WGA leaders just signed off on a new contract with producers. Now it goes to union members for approval, and that could be a lengthy process. Calling off the strike at midnight means writers can go back to work while the contract is ratified, and that still leaves the actors on strike since July, and who have uh, voted to expand their strike to include the video game market which uses actors for things like voice performance and motion capture work. Other news now, new at 6 o'clock, a man who spent nearly three decades in prison for crimes he did not commit is now free. A judge vacated the conviction and found Gerardo Carabias factually innocent. The L.A. County District Attorney has apologized to him and his family. And I want to see supporter Shayla Gerard is here with more. Shayla? Yes, it's a case that took investigators years to crack, but they were finally able to prove his innocence. Now, after nearly 30 years in prison and being wrongly convicted of crimes, Cavanius is a free man today.